Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back, and I'm glad you guys are back. I'm finally back after two months. Um, I'm going to share with you guys my labor labor and delivery um, story. So, hold on for that. I'm going to uh, include two videos that I recorded while at the hospital, but they, those are the only videos I was able to um, have at the moment because I had a, a crazy time. I'm going to insert those clips right now. Hello, you guys. I'm currently here at the hospital and I am getting induced on today, March the 8th. And so far, everything is good. Um, I'm feeling fine and I'm just waiting patiently. It's currently dark here. Um, so I will keep you guys posted and see how things go from there. Hi guys, I'm back to give an update. Um, today is March the 9th, and I came um, to the hospital yesterday on March the 8th, and unfortunately today I could give labor, so I had to wait until tomorrow um, to be induced completely. So, um, looks like I'll be having my baby tomorrow, Wednesday, March the 10th, and I will keep you guys updated bye now that you guys seen those two videos i would like to show you the hospital room tour coming up now um i'm gonna show you the room where i'll be staying today i'm getting induced so i'm gonna be over here lying down there um this is the area where they go and check me at. This is where the baby is gonna go. It's the sink. It's a nice room. And then turn around this way. That's the television, storage area, sleeping area. And this is the bathroom. Oh. And shower. Then turn back around. Spacious. Yes, it is. <clears throat> I like how bright it is in here. And that's pretty much the room tour. Thank you, guys. Bye. See you next time. Now that you've seen the room tour, I would like to go on with my labor and delivery story. But first, I would like to show you my baby, Isaac, who came out completely healthy. And I'm grateful for that because it's, it's a blessing. Um, here he goes. Right now, he is sleeping. So, when I first got to the, well, my appointment the, the week before, I was, I was um, admitted to the hospital. My doctor wanted to induce me at 37 weeks, and I was shocked, so I was thrown off guard, and I wasn't really mentally prepared, um, but I was ready. So, the following week, um, I was admitted in the hospital on March the 8th. So I was there for a night and then I was was supposed to be induced the next day. So the next day they um they of course checked my cervix and I wasn't dilated at all. I was still closed. Um he was still head down. And for uh first they inserted in me a cervidil um, a little baggie with medicine in it with a string attached and that was inserted in me um, first 
and I it was in me for about I think eight hours um, either eight to fifteen hours I don't remember the hours but of course it didn't work um, so I had to get after that was over with after the medicine was all gone um, they inserted me again with the server deal the second time and it didn't work again the third time the next the third day or so no that was one two three the fourth day that thursday and it didn't work um so they decided to do the balloon and the balloon caused contractions so i was having contractions and those contractions were very painful um however my son did not agree with the medications that that i was given it was affecting his heart rate. Um, he was in distress. Um, so they wanted to, I, they wanted to let me have natural birth because I, I did make it to eight centimeters. However, he was, his heart rate kept dropping and they said it, it was best to have a C-section. So. I end up getting a C-section on that Friday, March the 12th, at 8.50 um, a.m. No, wait, at 8 a.m. 8 a.m., and he arrived at 8.50, um, 8.52. And so I had a long, stressful week. I was in the hospital for eight days because after the surgery, I had to recover, um, and so I wasn't released from the hospital until that Monday, and that was eight days. And that was like the 13th, 14th, the 15th. I wasn't released until the 15th of March. So it was it was stressful. I was excited, stressed, and scared. Um, I wanted to have a natural birth, but it didn't turn out that way. Um it sucked um being induced early i I believe I was induced too early i I believe I should have or the doctor should have waited until I was uh, at least thirty nine weeks or forty weeks to be induced and the reason why I, I was induced is because i I was diagnosed with gestational diabetes and I had complications with that, and I was taking insulin every day and poking myself four times a day it was four times a day no actually six times a day and i was taking medicine four times a day so yeah that's my story um i wanted to record my birth my me giving birth but it didn't it didn't turn out as planned um the only videos i have is what i previously showed you guys and so that's all i have um, and my next videos to come is me showing um, Isaac and his growth. And right now he is currently two months and he is about to receive his, up, his, his update on shots and growth on Wednesday, March the 12th, which is his two month birthday. So I would definitely be, I would definitely try to record that, um, him getting his shots, even though I know he's going to cry or it depends. I don't know. Um, we'll see what happens, but I just want to give you guys an update. So in the next few clips, I'm going to show you photos of Isaac and I hope you enjoy. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.